Hey everyone and welcome to Deckheads, brought to you by Shark Tank Media. I'm Tim. And I'm Frank. And as you can see, this is a special edition because one, we're not playing a traditional tabletop game, and two, we're playing the pre-beta of a game that's currently running its Kickstarter campaign. That's right. This is a game called Gala Collider, which is kind of a, a mixture of both a card game and a 4X game. Those of you familiar with games like Masters of Orion or Civilization, they're games that are all about exploration, expansion, extermination, and exploitation. So it, has, it takes a lot of those elements along with a card game and the space simulator and somehow makes it all work. It's a lot of fun. So we're not actually going to do a how to play video like we normally do because one, it's in pre-beta and the game's definitely going to be changing quite a bit. And secondly, the best place to learn about the basics is the Kickstarter campaign itself. Look in the description of the video and you'll find a link to the Kickstarter campaign. Frank, do you want to get into it? Yeah, we can get into it. One quick note for you though is uh, this game has a lot of uh, one-sided and hidden information. So where Tim and I would normally be playing and recording you know, both of our audio at the same time, this time you're only going to see one of our sides at a time. Yeah, so we're going to mute each other. We won't actually be able to hear each other, and that way we can kind of talk you through our thought process. Um, and we're going to switch back and forth whose, whose screen you're seeing. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into the game. All right, Tim. And uh, may the best space colony based on humans win. End transmission. Okay, so I'm the Silith, which is kind of like an aggressive race. Um, and I got this neat card here called Fresh Recruits, which gives me frigates. Now, frigates are the light ship. Uh, they're the easiest ones to get, um, but they're the weakest as well. Makes sense, right? Uh, but first, I need to start moving around. So this is my colony ship, so I'm going to start by moving. Um, I'm definitely going to go there because I know Frank is going to go there, uh, or at least on his side of the map. Um, I'm going to build another colony ship because I'll probably need it. Um, you, you'll see the three different resources. Uh, you've got energy research and materials um so it takes energy to move your ships uh, so that's why i only have two and it takes two of each to build this colony ship so i'm gonna do that um i'm gonna go a kind of a rush strategy this time around uh, very different than what i've tried against frank before so hopefully he won't see it coming um and then i'm going to play this fresh recruits card uh, to get some more frigates and Unfortunately, I only got one of these bruisers. I was hoping to get more than that because one, they can move twice, and also they're cheap. And the strategy that I'm going for, uh, it would have benefited from having more cruisers. But now I need to discard cards because you can only end your turn with six. So I'm going to get rid of this um, because I'm not interested in ground strikes and that kind of thing. Um, we're at seven. Uh, this strategy is not going to be benefit from the... That's actually a really good card. It's my Dreadnought ship, but uh, I'm going to dash it because I'm, I'm taking a risk here. Um, let's see. So, Stuff's moving. He had a similar thought to me. So we're going to go ahead and colonize this place. And this place. Now this place has five planet connections. That's going to make it pretty hotly contested. I'm going to go ahead and build a shipyard here because it's definitely going to be a lot going on. Okay, that's going to allow me to do a lot more there. And then this little guy, I want him to get up there. So I'm just going to go ahead and send him off this way now. Gain three materials. I don't have... <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's gain three materials. Draw a card. Got a mining station. That's nice. Now... I'm going to go ahead and build this giant ship right there. Now, it's pretty early for me to already have a, a Dreadnought, and that's going to give Tim some real trouble if I start moving that immediately next turn. But overall, my resources are kind of low, so I'm not going to be able to take real good advantage of that. Let's see if there's anything good I can tech into right now. Ooh, that's a really good one to start with. This is just straight-up victory points. Yeah, what's this guy? The Claw, or the Cetus, which is a Dreadnought. And it can do two attacks and pin. 15 health. <sighs> well, I can't buy the Claw, but I can buy this one. Done. No. This is a bad time to do that. Let's do this. Nice to draw. I just gotta 
tear down my hand a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And keep industrious. Super useful. I'll get rid of a heat sink. So luckily, Frank did not do what I was worried he would do. Um, awesome, lets me mill, um, which I got conduits. Um, okay, and that is gain three materials. Perfect. Wow, this is actually working out really well. I think that uh, that I might be able to actually pull off this strategy that I'm was hoping for. Um, so what I'm going to do is. Uh, Fresh recruits. Oh no! I meant to play the card and I discarded it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. That was awful. That really screwed me. I cannot believe that I just did what I just did. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, well, I guess I'm gonna have to mill, mill, come on. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't get what I was hoping to get, but maybe I'll be able to pull off what I'm trying to do by throwing down that bruiser, or that, yes, bruiser. Building it there, because it's a free build. I don't have an enclave there. Um, uh, see, I could've, my plan was to throw down another bruiser here using the fresh recruits, I would definitely get bruisers, like guaranteed, and I would throw down another couple there, and I would, I would probably have just won, won the game. <laughs> but I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Um, uh, what am I gonna do? I guess I will. Um, so I think what I can do actually is uh, I can build an enclave here which will let me build a rhino there so now I got two rhinos so what I'm hoping is if I can throw a slip deck I can get a rhino across there I can move my and then I can potentially contest all of his regions and that would win me the game okay um, let's see here is there anything else I can do I will um, yeah, I'm gonna build a conduit at my homeworld. Oh, duh, I need to get rid of a card. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Oh, wow, he rushed a dreadnought. I'm, I'm in big trouble. That actually completely ruined my plan. Um, well, I guess I have to attack it. I don't really have a choice. Uh, and I don't have anything to save me. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I should have a, trip, a ship with troops on it. I do not. I can only bombard. Ship's doing okay at six health. There's no way to recover ship health yet. You know, it's kind of a bummer, but that is what it is. Okay, I need to get a colony ship going. Two shipyards now. This is what I want. Shipyard's an awful thing to waste. 
I guess my hand's fine for now, but with all these extra resources that I'm not doing anything with. So I'll just draw a card to keep things moving. Oh, perfect. I can even build this. Let's uh, put that down there. There we go. Now, pin is great because now they can't leave the system that they're in. So we want to keep that kind of stuff up. Okay, that ended up working out. Now, one of the things I'm going to need to do is protect that... Oh, shit! He colonized that world. That's real bad. This one right here. All right. Well, let's see here. Um, so, I'm in trouble because my rush didn't work out, and I kind of went all in on that rush. Um, I did not see Frank getting a Dreadnought built that quickly. So that was my lack of foresight that uh, that unfortunately caused the problem. Um, so I actually moved the Rhino out of that slip deck. I don't I don't know why. Um, but we're definitely gonna move both of these to his home world uh, just to mess with him. Rhinos. I'm gonna use Rhinos to to cripple his economy, and then I'm gonna start building. Uh, cruisers and see if I can't salvage something here but but I'm in trouble here because he's got a, a dreadnought and a cruiser yeah I, that, I, there's no way I can take that army on but I can cripple him uh, with harassment and that's kind of what I'm doing but I kind of need to get an end game strategy going and I don't have one so just kind of winging it we'll see we'll see how it works um, I don't think he would expect me to build Conduit there, so I'm going to, uh, and we'll start milling. Um, okay. Okay. So now I need to get rid of a card, and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm I'm not too concerned about using that right now. Now I'm just waiting on Frank, Frank to finish his turn. Um, this is this is not looking good for me. I I, I really screwed the pooch on this one. Uh, accidentally discarded a card, which is something that doesn't happen in a real card game. So uh, we'll see. I think hopefully Frank is panicking a little bit here because. Um, oh, okay. So he, that's fine. Uh, oh, he killed my. Of course he did. Of course he killed my. Um, my Rhino. Why wouldn't he? That would make no sense for him not to. Okay, so he's got a ship over there, which is not good. Things are not going well for me. Things are going extraordinarily bad. Um, extraordinarily bad, I would say. Uh, yeah. I think that's that's a good way to describe it, I think. So I'm in trouble. I, I screwed the pooch, um, discarded a card that I shouldn't have, and now I'm in trouble. And I don't know what Frank's waiting for. He doesn't really have a lot of options of what he can and cannot attack. Um, so I'm just waiting on Frank here. <sighs> Man, I, I can't believe I discarded a card. Like that again. That's something that would never happen in a real card game. Uh, that that, but it's my fault. I I, I messed it up. I... Okay, there's combat happening. All right. Oops, oh, I didn't mean to colonize it, but it's mine now. It's okay. I can use the science. Now I can invade it. That guy will stay there and keep fucking with him. Nothing I need. Oop, can I build my shipyard here now? 
No? Oh, because he's still raiding me with that rhino. So this guy's going to go up and to here. It's going to be a dangerous run. Where's my homeworld? The homeworld, I want to put a barracks. Kind of help protect it a little bit more. And deck's getting a bit low, so let's go ahead and buy some science, huh? Two nukes, that's always fun. Now, I know there's some errors with this, but it's a really nice one. I'll go ahead and get the research bonus. And I still have some move left. I don't want to use any of those. So let's go ahead and uh, get two more research and cycle the deck a bit. Nice. That's a good one. We really don't need that. Okay. Now, generally, something Tim and I have learned is that holding cards in your hand doesn't really help you. But, I mean, it's not like I've been getting rid of other stuff. Oh, I got another gun battery. That's nice. I gotta put that up somewhere. Oh, I know where I'm gonna put it up. As soon as I grab something on the front lines, just boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be great. Tim's gonna hate it. I don't think Tim expected me to trounce him so badly that last round. I'm kind of worried I haven't pulled my other Dreadnoughts yet. I know I have a couple of cards in my deck that allow me to pull Dreadnoughts fast. And uh, they must be in my last nine cards there. Um, you can see over here, this is my cards in deck. This is my discard. So there's nine cards left in there. I know I've got like two other Dreadnoughts. Mm, there's the moving stuff. Planet invaded. You're damn right. Okay, what has he got? Ooh, that's a scary ship. So we're going to shoot him and bomb that, which is one of my favorite things. Okay, looks like that's all I can do this round. Good. The fight continues. Did he? Does he yep, double it? Oh, bombard lets it attack that, so. Yeah, this, is, this game's pretty much lost, but we'll see. See if I can't find a way into this. I, I've... I think this is a situation where I would concede normally, but never surrender! Um, let's do this. Let's see. It still won't let me build an enclave there. I wonder why. I, I still don't know why. Oh, it's because it's already at the development limit. I, I screwed up. I shouldn't have put that conduit there. I don't know what I was thinking. That's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get we're gonna get a stinger right there, and then we're going to build a colony ship somewhere. I can't build a colony ship anywhere. <laughs> Dang it! But I can put an enclave there uh, and not be able to afford a colony ship um, just because it's no. I can't build that, so we'll just end my turn. Uh, let's let's mill first. Now I'll I'll redraw at the beginning of my next turn, so I'll get one of the get rid of one of these. No, I'm gonna get rid of this. No, I'll keep that just in case. I'll get rid of that. I'm not gonna use that anytime soon. Do you know what? I'm so far behind in this game. I haven't even stopped to think about what Frank's plan might be, and and I I really am in trouble. Uh, I have four sectors to six. Um, Uh, he's got uh, way more ships than I do. Uh, I'm, I'm just really in trouble here, and uh, this ship's about to die. Yeah, this is gonna be gonna be it for me pretty soon. Um. Oh, I won! This world is mine. So now that's this turn again. We're going to go ahead and drop a local defense force on that ship. 
this little guy is going to go up to this little planet. Oh boy, can't wait to see what's there. That's that's uh, that's a dangerous little jump there, isn't it? Hey, there's the Kujata. I was waiting for that. So let's see. This is going to cost me three to move. It'll leave me three for this one. He's got something extra on his home world right now, though. I could build an exact... Uh, an extra set of that team, which is awesome. And what I'm going to do is I think I'll move this Kujata over here. Put the new Kujata here. And buy some new tech. Oh, yeah. That's the most bullshit card. Tim might be close to victory right now. I probably should have put that up. As a matter of fact, if I build the shipyard and the barracks next turn, I win. So I'll do that. Oh, he's coming in hard. Okay, let's see what he's got here. Stinger with four health. That guy's got ten. Got four health and three. And this guy does five, so we'll destroy that and attack that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And that's the only fight. Let's hope that Tim didn't win on points this round. Or if there's something on his that it thinks uh, should be there but isn't, and so on and so forth. How did he survive that? I'm not really sure. Did I attack with the wrong guy? Shouldn't he have... Maybe he had six, and I wasn't really paying close enough attention. Okay, well, let's see here. Once again, I'm in trouble. And now he's got a guy uh, in that sector. So I'm going to see if I can't um, get another bruiser over there. Um, get an enclave here. And just hurting for materials. I... I, I I haven't got the materials production that I was hoping. Basically, none of my sectors uh, produce materials. I think this one did, and I lost it uh, early on. I I'm really in trouble this game. I There's there's very few things that I can do. Um, but I will not give up. Stranger things have happened. I'll build a rhino here. Can hopefully catch him off guard. I, I, I definitely think that that Frank is getting close to his uh, to his victory points in total. So if you see in the top left screen, top left of the screen here, you can see uh, these little star icons here. Um, the star in the Pentagon that is your victory points essentially. So the first person to 50 is the winner, and I am quite far away. Uh, I'm I'm guessing that this may be the last turn. We'll see. So we both have our crappy little little frigates there. Woo! And there's Frank's. All right, let's go ahead and turn back on to Tim. And that's that's the game, Frank. Hello, hey Tim. Yes. Hey. <laughs> so I want to tell you about the abysmally horrible error I made in turn two. Yeah? So the Silith have the card uh, Fresh Recruits. And it moves, it draws the next three, it basically pulls three frigates out of your deck. Yeah. Okay. I remember that. I, What's a powerful card? Yes. And I had both in my hand. I played one and accidentally discarded the other. Oh. Now, when I played the first one, I only got one bruiser. Bruisers are the cheap ones with two move, if you remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. All, they're also free build. Yeah, they're the ones. Which means. No, the bruisers aren't one to three, are they? What's that? No, no rhinos. That's, rhinos. that's the rhinos. But it's free build with two movement. So I had a a I got a sector really early on that was that was on your side of the board. Yeah. Had I gotten three bruisers out on that 
I would have won because I would have, well, not necessarily would have won, but I would have gotten a really close to being having all of your sectors contested because that's one of the win conditions is contesting all of your, all of your sectors. So I, I, my, my goal was to rush. That was the whole point of, uh, I saw, okay, I got two fresh recruits. I'm ditching my great tree. I'm ditching everything except these. And then I accidentally discarded one of the cards that I needed for that rush. Oh God. And I, I just I couldn't I couldn't recover from it because I went all in on that rush and accidentally discarded a card. That seems huge. How do I accidentally discard a card? That that's so ridiculous. That's it's one of those things that is impossible in an actual card game. You know, <laughs> like it literally. There's no way I would accidentally discard. And if I did, I would say, "Oh crap, Frank! You know what? I accidentally discarded that card that I really needed. Is okay if I pick it back up?" And I would have told you like, to just. You you did it. Hands off the piece. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, you know yeah. what was interesting for me is I only got one Dreadnought. Like, my last two... I just finished drawing out my deck. And also, another thing is I still... I still could have could have gotten a, a, an all-sectors contested win early on. But you had a Dreadnought right off the bat. Yeah, that was, and, my, that was my second turn. I looked at my resources because... On that second turn, I took those planets, and they were like, plus three materials, plus three speed. I was like, I can afford this. See, I, I <laughs> moved that. I, I, I One of my options was to leave three rhinos on one spot and give them slip deck, which what slip deck does is it gives them two movement. Yeah. But instead, I, instead, I moved one over, and, and that's the one that died to your dreadnought. So I still could have won had I gotten all three of my rhinos with that slip deck. And then had a bruiser on the other side of the map. I still could have potentially won, but uh, that dreadnought is what saved you. Yeah, no, I knew I knew it was going to be a, of a game piece. I'm glad that both of our dreadnoughts blew each other up in that last turn. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I. I think it must have been a miscalculation on my part, but I. Th I was convinced that I sh would have killed you. Here's um, what happened. I used a card to give myself one extra attack. Well, so did I. So, I mean, so, the thing is, is then it was a, a double KO. I only had one HP left on that ship. Right, and that's the thing is, it you sh it should have died because the ship, I gave it, I gave all my ships plus one attack, which means it should have, I should have been able to do the damage to kill you. That's what I thought it was, but I might have miscalculated. Yeah, could have been, could have been. Because I could have sworn, I was like, okay, one has three attack, one has four attack, your guys had five and four HP. So I was like, okay, if I give them both plus one, now my attacks are five and four. It might just be that I targeted the wrong ship, and I targeted. Oh, you cross targeted. That, yeah, I yeah. cross targeted and, and targeted the one that had had four HP with my five attack, and then the five HP with my four attack. Yeah. That also could have happened. I was really impressed with that early, really close planet you got to me. I'm glad I finally got to take over a planet by invasion. Yeah, yeah, that's the first time we've seen that happen. Yeah, yeah, I was really bang I was really hoping that you wouldn't go to that planet, and when it turned out that it did, and I had both those fresh recruits, I was like, "Oh, this is it, man! I'm gonna get all my bruisers. We're gonna, I'm gonna build three bruisers on that planet. There's no way he's gonna see have seen that coming." And and then I discarded it. I I still don't know what I did to discard it. I I put it. I played. I the rather, only way to I discard it. Are you sure that you hadn't used all of your frigates at that point? Because the only no, way to said, discard said is card. to drag it into discard. It said card discarded. Well, the oh. other way, the way I normally discard is to click and then click the trash button. That's oh. how I normally discard. So that card I had clicked and dragged onto the screen, and I must have accidentally put it onto the discard pile. I see. Yeah, because that's the way I always discard is by dragging into the discard. See, I, I click it and then hit the, 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 the trash button. Did you manage to um, get through your deck? Yeah, I did, actually. Okay. I was I was milling a lot because uh, because my rush didn't work out. I was, like, trying really hard to find something that, that would work for me. So I, I, I milled my deck like crazy. Yeah, um, I, finally, I finally burned through the deck. I was always holding a shipyard in my hand because I knew that I was going to take one of your planets very soon. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was just like, I was going to set it up. Like, uh, I actually, you know that planet I took right there at the end? Uh, that one, like, both of those planets have shipyards on them now. Nice. Yeah, they're, they're ready to go. Also, um, there was another thing that was, that was, that was, uh, it was actually my fault. I thought it was a bug at first, and then I realized it was just my own mistake, uh, which was that planet that I had on your side of the board. Yeah. Um, 
I built a conduit on it early on, thinking Frank wouldn't expect me to build something out here, so I'm just gonna... He won't He won't try to kill this conduit, which is a plus one energy. Yeah. Um, you have one on your uh, home production. world, I saw. Yeah, I had one on my home world, and then I had one on your side, of the, on the planet, on your side of the map. Yeah. And uh, because I had it there, I couldn't build an enclave. Oh, no. So I was trying to build an enclave there, and I was like, what the heck, the game's bugging out, stupid... Pre and then, and and then like, you saw that it and only then i had realized one. oh crap i can only have one development and i already put the conduit so it was my own stupid mistake not the game <laughs> um well you live and learn i still man i still i i just can't believe i accidentally re or accidentally re discarded a card that was so essential to the strategy that i was doing it's just you know what's weird too is there's a card in the um coalition deck that allows you to pull dreadnoughts the same way Right. And I never drew it. <laughs> I, really, I was really waiting for that one because I was like, "Let's get some dreadnoughts up in here, big ships." Yeah. yeah and just... is that not a, uh, a, a um, is it a research card? It might be you, card you have to research. Um, yeah. Did you do any research? Cause I, I did. didn't. I I, was... I waited till the very end. Like I was like I was ready to do research early in the game because I had four points and I was like, "Wait, no, no, you don't do research until you're like ten cards out because then you know you're actually gonna get them." Yeah, I just. I was playing so far from behind that I didn't even consider researching. Uh, yeah. You were you yeah. were just hoping to draw that thing again. You should have been checking the research, because I know there are some really nice frigates in the Slilith research decks. Oh, I know. So, what? I mean, but the thing is, I had to survive long enough to get through my deck. So, I was thinking of milling through my deck was the first thing I was thinking of. Yeah. But anyway, that's Gala Collider. It's a, it's a fascinating little game, and I'm, I am really looking forward to see where it goes. Yeah, um, I mean, and this game was really quick. You know, when you do these small 12-map games, it's quick. Even though, like, your normal 4X game, the way you win is usually by, like, total domination or somehow getting the AI to like you. In this case, you know, it's based on getting most of the available victory points, and more victory points are added from the decks. So, yeah. I mean, it's it really can be pretty pick-up-and-go. This is the 12-planet mode, which is, um, like, I would say the small standard. But our next game, we're going to go ahead and kick up the planet count. Uh, I think the next level up is 24. Is that right, Tim? That's right. Okay. Um, well, it goes 6, 12, 18, 24. Yeah, okay, so we're going six, all the way. Yeah, 6 is kind of like a demo thing. It's, it's not really it's meant to debugging. be. debugging. Yeah, because you could uh, win a match in a turn. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. If you, all you need to do is get a Rhino and you win. Um, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, that's just for debugging. But, yeah, I think uh, we'll do a 24 map next, and uh, we'll see how things go in a longer game. Yeah, and, and like I was saying earlier, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this game goes in the future, which I won't be able to see if it doesn't get kickstarted. So yeah, we're go to the Kickstarter campaign, back it, um, and uh, then we'll see we'll see what it is from here. It's supposed to be a real competitive game. They're you know they're trying to uh, promote their competitive scene. They actually have a guy. Uh, my understanding was a guy who who from Wizards of the Coast who managed the the Magic the Gathering. Um, uh, competitive scene, helping them out. And, and one of the really cool parts about uh, you know what we've heard about the competitive is so far is that they're going to run these tournaments, and then that will affect the game lore and will cause new cards introduced to reflect that. So if yes. if at a certain tournament you know coalition wins, then the Slilith will get a card that's like after their defeat at this you know this system, yeah. which is going to be really cool. And it, and it's a cool way to make uh, balance changes um, thematic. Um, but stop listening to us talk. Seriously, go to the Kickstarter campaign, back it, and we'll see you in the next video. Yep. Thank you very much. See you next time, guys.